you always want to find people who would have already worn the wall that you're trying to you start to look at mentors and coach searching up successful people with whatever fee that I was focusing on. Brent Thomas. Mr. Brent, can you tell us something about you? Who are you? Ah, uh, well, Brent, Brent Thomas is, you know, a regular individual. Uh, but, you know, this regular individual who has, you know, big goals and, you know, big dreams. And uh, I started off, you know, just, you know, a regular, like, a regular individual. You know, I went to school, got a decent education, uh, got a decent job. But I still wanted more of life, all right? And um, I went into the field of engineering first. Uh, mm -hmm. I did process, process operations. And I actually got a job in that field, right? So we, now, again, most of the time, you know, we would have done things because, you know, of our parents or people around us, more or less direct us on that path. So I, I, I kind of fell in that was also in engineering. And, um, did that for a while and then I realized, hey, you know, there's more to life. I wanted to do more things. Uh, mm -hmm. So I ventured into the business. So today I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor. And I run a couple other business, you know, um, partnership with other individuals. That's just general entrepreneur. Yeah. But I, I, to be honest with you, I started paying attention to the people who were working, where I was working, who were working for 20 years working for 30 years and I had to ask myself Brent do you want to be here 20 years from now do you want to be here 30 years from now do you want to look like these in right and they some of them were pretty miserable I'll be honest with you so um I kind of you know I said listen let me let me let me take this thing up a notch and I started my own trucking company one of the things if you don't have guidance it's going to be difficult you always want to find people would have already warm the wall that you're trying to walk and like seek mentor, okay? <laughs> ah, that's so the word. One mentorship. Yeah, you could you can learn from your mistakes or you can learn from your mentors. And I prefer the mentors, but back then I had to burn to learn. Um, because money I was burning a lot of money. Money coming in doesn't mean that you're making money. You have to reinvest in your business. I didn't understand that. And um, Long story short, two of my, one of my trucks got wrote off. Someone else driving it, and if you give people your vehicle to drive, if, you, if you're from Trinidad, they drive it pretty well, right? <laughs> so, um, I lost everything. Everything right there. But I always tell people that was the best experience. It had to happen that way because, you know, I really understood money now uh, from going through that process. And it was really tough. But, you know, going through the tough times allows you to, to really become creative, all right? You learn to figure out things, you learn how to live on less, you learn how to, who's there in your corner, who's really seeking, you know, your best interest. And then, you know, I was exposed to investing. I must say, interesting, yeah. um, you took, it had to take your courage, you know, for you to actually do that. It had to take your courage. Mm -hmm. And in marketing opportunities where they are for you, like how did you get uh, the word out there of uh, what it is you do to get customers and also ever? I know you said you mentioned that you do trading and such, <laughs> right? So how did you get it out there? Well, you know, to me, one of the, you know, skills that I believe a lot of people need to pay very close attention to today more than ever is you know developing the right relationship right in uh, networking with people right because of me networking with people today there isn't anything that i can think about that i don't know someone who's going to connect me to someone to find out what i want right now looking for you know common grounds if they're into business and following them i you know started to look at mentors and coach I looked at people who even follow the people that I follow. Does that make sense? And 
that means that if I were into trucking, I would search up on trucks and I would see people talking about trucks and I would reach out to them personally and ask them questions. Hey, I see that you have a Isuzu trait on truck. I'm looking for this. And because of that there, that person would have, you know, lead me to a lot of things. And just developing relationships, you know, I always tell, you know, some of my students, make it your duty to connect with three to five new persons every day. Right? Every single day, connect with three to five new persons. You go online, don't just be liking people's pictures. There are a lot of people that you that have the information that you want, follow them like them, send a comment, congratulate them on whatever they're doing. That's how you get access to more, right? Connecting with people who have already done what you're, what you're trying to do, yeah? How did you plan to create value initial, initially and continuously? How did I plan to, to do it? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, impact drives income. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to you earning money, you have to find a way to impact others. Okay? But the moment you create a service for others, you start to impact individuals. Your ability to grow your income becomes greater. Mm -hmm. It's limited because you never know who is open. Um, yes. When it came to like my wife business, we did more of people who we, we targeted existing customers and we targeted people who had birthdays, small events, that kind of thing. Um, kind of targeted those individuals. We did more ads online, you know, that kind of thing. So doing ads online allows you to target specific people. I'm not too sure if you ever did an ad online. You target a particular age group, you target the working class, I target for, for her business, we kind of we are based in Central, so we target more people in Central because um, it made it easier for delivery and all these different things. But um, right. yeah, you, you that's a really good question. You have to know your customers and what they want and then figure out a way out to reach them. Thank you. So everyone, do you see the words of Ben Thomas? Mr. Thomas, you have anything else to share? Um, I mean, I think I shared a lot. You did. But believe big. Believe big. Don't think small. Believe big. I mean, you've probably heard it a million times. But think bigger. The world is our playground. Go after your goals. It doesn't matter what you eat. It doesn't matter what circumstances you're going through. Go after it. Live life with no regrets. You want to know at the end of it, I mean, we all have to die someday. At the end of it all, you should say, hey, I really lived my life. I really went out here and I did all I could do. And, you know, you know, build a meaningful relationship with people. Stay close to Pay very close attention to your circle, the people that are very close to you, your friends. Make sure that you develop the right environment for yourself to go down. People around you that don't encourage you, cut them off. Don't waste time, right? But go after it and be bigger. That's 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 all I will have to share. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more on Career Series.